Have you ever wondered how AI and social media play together? With today's product showcase, you can plan out your social media posting, utilizing AI for both content and to generate hashtags. Today's product showcase is FeedHive, a simple social media scheduler with a powerful backend. So without further ado, let's dive into FeedHive and set up some social media posts. We are now inside Feed Hive, and here you can see already the design is very modern. It reminds me a lot of Missing Letter. But this dashboard here gives you a quick overview of your posting. You can get inspired, you can see your plan, upcoming posts, and then they have some suggested readings. Because they do also have a blog where it is that they teach you what they know about social media posting. But let's just jump right in and create our first post. So this is the composer and the first time I used this I got a little bit confused because you can see that we get some inspirations down here where they basically generate content for us. So here is an idea where it says share insights from a conversation you had lately. If I press use inspiration it doesn't only add what it says in the box it adds a lot more so you can add your own content to this. So you can see that it added, I had a discussion with a friend about X lately and at some point he slash she pointed out that X. That one honestly got me thinking. So this one is a little bit needs to be removed. But overall that's a template we can use so we can start to fill out our own content here. And as I'm right now posting for Twitter, you can see we have our max down here. And when it is that we just start to fill out, you can see over here we have a live preview. And even when I add a link, then we do also get the overview over here, how it will look. So in this preview, they are showing exactly how it will look on Twitter. Of course, the retweets and the likes we would just like to have, but that's for another time. But down here you can see we have again the get inspiration, we have use template and then we can generate hashtags. So if I just remove this text here and I look for some inspiration for a giveaway. Now I did find something here. Announce a giveaway, ask people to like and follow to participate. Let's use this inspiration. So just be aware that when we use inspiration, whatever you have written already will be completely deleted. Now one thing I would like to see is being able to write and search in the inspiration. So if I want to do a post about a specific product or about how my day was, then I would like to be able to search within the inspiration and then get inspired by what it is that the AI tells me. But for now let's use this one. So let's say that my giveaway is live, go check it out and if you like it, share it with your friends. And I added a link so you can see again in the preview over here. So right now we have used the inspiration, we have not used the templates. A template you can basically add yourself. So when it is that you add a template then you can reuse it. So on the dots here we can save it as a template and then it will lay down here. So you can see right now we have a template that we can reuse or we can just use it again now. Because what we can also do is that we can add a subtweet. And when I do add a subtweet it is also shown over here in the preview. So whatever you do on the left side will be replicated on the right side of how users will see it. But for now let's just remove this subtweet and then generate some hashtags. And these hashtags are also generated via AI. So right now we got the giveaway hashtag that sounds great. Obtainly review also sounds great. Email marketing actually do also sound great and email list as well. So you can see it has now added the hashtags both over here but also on the left side. So right now I think this post is great and I'm ready to schedule it. So over here in the scheduler we can either pick a time, post it now or we can plan it. And here we choose where we want to post this specific post. Whether we want to do it on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter or if you have added another social media account. We can also organize it with labels, we can auto retweet and we can share the draft if it's for a client who needs to see this draft and approve it. That is also possible. But for now let's try and plan this post. When it is your plan you need to have an available slot and as you can see down here there's no available slots for this post. Free a slot or create a new one. 
I have a lot of free slots right now, so it must be a mistake. But let's just pick a time instead then. Let's say we want to post it on Wednesday and I want to do it in the afternoon. Now, when I click on the afternoon, I would love to see that they would suggest me a time where they can see based on other giveaway posts, this is the time that they have performed better. Of course, there are multiple variables that we can put in in order to get a time which is perfect for posting on social media. But when I click afternoon multiple times, it is just choosing random times. I would also like to be able to schedule my time per social media. So let's say that my Facebook page that performs best in the afternoon, but my Twitter performs best in the morning. I would like to also be able to choose between those elements. But right now, if I want to do that, I need to make a post for each individual social media account and then of course schedule it. But let's just for now pick a time here. And then what we can choose is we can choose to press schedule. But before we do so, I just want to show you tools because in here we can predict our performance. So if I click on the generate result here, it will now use AI to predict how well our post will do. So I just get the number 79, which is more than enough. I think that sounds good. And I do get a graph here, but it doesn't make a lot of sense to me what the graph means. And the 79, I'm still a little bit in doubt of what it is based on. So let's just go back and schedule our post here. So now the post has been scheduled. And what we can do is then go to our calendar to see. So right now we have it on a weekly plan and you can see that on Tuesday, one post will go out and on Wednesday, the post we just created will go out. And then we can also go to our plan and you can see, as I just mentioned before, we have a lot of open slots. So we should be able to schedule on these postings. You can also from here click if you want to create a post on this specific slot whether it wants to be a motivation, promotion, threat, or just a tip. So let's try with just a tip. When I click update here, it is just saved, but it was already saved. So what this means is that in my posting, I want to share a tip down here where it is orange. And over here in the green one is where I want to share a social media post, which is a motivational one. So this is just a way of seeing the different slots. Again, I would like to see that this was based on data telling me that the reason why you have a slot here is because recently this is what's performing best. But that's the calendar. If we go down to the post here, you can see that we have some suggestions up here where we get some ideas of what we can post. And then down here we have all of our drafts. We can also see our scheduled one, the history, retweets. But the draft is what has just been saved but hasn't been posted yet. And that is if you go to the compose, you just start typing here. Then you can see up in the right corner it is saving and now it's saved as a draft. So if I go back to post, you can see we have another draft laying here. For now, I'll just delete it. Now another cool feature is the analytics. In here you can see for either the last 28 days or the last 7 days. I would like to be able to control this more in the date range that I choose. But here we can see everything from likes, retweets, impressions, engagement rate. And we can even also go down and see our followers, how it is that FeedHive is predicting our followers to grow. So you can see here that I grow five followers per day. So in theory, that should be a fine growth for me, but it's not exactly true. I do not grow five followers per day, but it is really interesting if they can tweak this and make this work we will really get a powerful insight in how our Twitter account is growing. Further down, we also have engagement rates, engagement and impressions. Then we have our top tweet, when we have tweeted, and then our top labels. So this will tell you what type of post is performing best for your target group. Really interesting. Now in the socials over here, we basically just have an overview of the social media accounts we can add. So right now it's Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, and Facebook. They will add TikTok and Pinterest in the future. In the settings, we can choose if we want to use a 24 hour clock, if we want to show extended calendar events, publish notifications. We can also split heat map activities. Again, auto retweet where that needs to be enabled per default. And then we can set default providers where you just per default want to share content. And that is the platform feed hive. Now the pricing reminds me a lot of what we see from the alternatives. 
It is based on the amount of social media accounts you want to attach and some minor features. If you're just a single person, then the two first plans are perfect for you and you can even get started completely free. Now, if you're a team, I would advise you to go with the two more expensive plans as they fit your need better. Overall, the entire pricing structure is just very cheap compared to the alternatives. Now, the alternatives to FeedHive as I see it is Radar and Hootsuite. Of course, Hootsuite is number one in the industry. They are so large and they have so much data that they can work on. However, Radar has social listening, which we don't see within FeedHive. And then FeedHive's unique selling proposition is their AI. They're using AI to generate content ideas and to generate hashtags. And they will even use it further ahead to be able to generate actual content. So you can see that these three alternatives put up against each other, they are differing on each of their unique element. So if you just need a stable product where you know that everything is based on huge data sets, then Hootsuite is perfect for you. If you need social listening, but still being able to plan and schedule content, then Radar is perfect for you. But if you need hashtag generations and AI content ideas and a beautiful design where they take something very complex, put it into a simple machine, then FeedHive is the one for you. Now the future of FeedHive looks very interesting. First off, they're working on a mobile app for both iOS and Android so we can have FeedHive with us wherever we go. Then they're working on improvements to the AI suggestions so we will get better content ideas to write about. Then they are also improving the entire content template system so we will get folder structure and just a better way of organizing our entire structure for our templates. Then they are also working on a subscribe function so we can subscribe to certain people, get a feed on our dashboard so we can get inspired every single day or if you just only want to see content from those, you will be able to see that in your feed. Last but not least, they're adding more social media accounts like Pinterest and TikTok so we can broaden our social media presence even further. Now, after spending some time in FeedHive, I want to share some pros and cons with you. Starting with the pros, they have a modern and elegant design. They have a powerful backend and they have extensive analytics. Whereas for the cons, the posting time is not based on data. They do not have an RSS import. I'm really missing the TikTok integration and the compose function can be a little bit difficult to figure out. FeedHive have managed to do something so complex, so simple. When you use the platform and as you just saw in the walkthrough, you get a very simple design but very powerful features. Overall, I will give FeedHive four stars. It's really a great design, powerful features, but with some small tweaks on the posting time and more social media integrations, we will really see a powerful competitor in the industry. But yeah, that is my review of FeedHive. I hope that you liked the video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions to FeedHive or other products you would like me to review, please leave a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching. Let's catch up on the next one.